Boy, have I been busy the last few weeks. It seems like once spring starts to show around the corner, everything needs to be done all at once. That's not just here in the blacksmith shop. That's pretty much everywhere. Things that have just been put off over the winter because it was too cold to do them. Suddenly, it's getting kind of nice outside and it's time to do some of that stuff. But that means I don't have as much time in the shop sometimes or I have stuff that I got to get done here in the blacksmith shop and I need to put my time into that and don't really have the time to make as many YouTube videos as I would like. Or I should say, not make as many of the style of videos that I would like. So today I just thought I would touch base and let you know I haven't forgotten about you. Kind of let you know what I've been up to mostly here in the shop and why I'm not doing a full project video this week. And one of the things I've been working on are these hose and cord holders. And these are going out as gifts to some of the Patreon patrons. If you're not familiar with Patreon, it's a site where people can donate to the channel. That helps fund the effort to produce videos and helps free me up from making endless customer product to pay the bills. If the YouTube videos pay the bills, I make more YouTube videos and make fewer customer products. It's not uncommon for people that have a Patreon site to give out little rewards for people that are contributing, and that makes perfect sense. If you're going to contribute a dollar, two dollars, five dollars a month to help fund the videos here at Black Bear Forge, receiving something in return like a bottle opener or something like that seemed to me to be a really reasonable thing. At least it did at the time. Unfortunately, I didn't fully think that through, and making products to send out to Patreon patrons does take away from my time to make videos just like making customer product would. So it really turns into sort of a retail operation and for the most part it's still financially beneficial to do it that way but I've been really trying hard to do a video a week here and that means all these Patreon rewards are severely overdue. Some of them more than a year overdue. So I really need to spend time in the shop just getting this caught up, getting them all done. I have since stopped doing gifts as a reward because I figure the Patreon patrons are really supporting the video content. That's what they're paying for. If they just wanted to buy a bottle opener, they can go to my Etsy shop. And if I've got bottle openers available, they can buy one. Instead, now what I do for Patreon patrons that are contributing $5 a month or more, they get ad-free versions of the videos that they can watch over on Patreon. So every time I upload a video on YouTube, a day or two before I try to upload one to Patreon, same video, same content, but there's none of the annoying ads that typically run when you watch YouTube videos. And those videos often don't include the sponsorship mentions either. So that way the Patreon patrons just get the blacksmithing content. And hopefully that's working out well for them. I haven't heard any complaints over there. But I do still owe a lot of people gifts, and I've got to get these things done. So that's sort of going to be my priority in the next week is to try and finish these off. So I'm not going to do a full project-based video this week. Now, the other thing that's been going on is that I was waiting for materials. This last year, I've just had materials delivered, and I've really liked the convenience of not having to drive into town, stand in line at the steel supplier, wait for the guys in the warehouse to get my stuff, drag it outside. I have to cut it up myself there, put it in the back of the truck and drive it home. It actually is probably financially better to pay the delivery fee when you break it down into what my time in the shop is worth than it is to save the delivery fee and do all that myself. So I've really liked that, but in March we actually had some decent snow here in Beulah and that means the road was muddy and mucky and it's not a good place for them to bring their truck in. So even though the materials were ordered and they were in stock, ready to be delivered, it took about three weeks before the road was dry enough for them to get up here. So once the materials are delivered, I went ahead and cut them in half, got it put up on the steel rack where it's off the ground and more convenient to get to, and then started running material through the Marvel bandsaw so I had things for the people on the Etsy shop, which is still my primary source of income here in the blacksmith shop. And the main thing that I make over there are these hold fasts. So I have been working on this. There was a big demand for them as I waited three weeks for materials. People kept saying, when are you going to have them? When are you going to have them? And as soon as I relisted those on the Etsy shop with a two-week waiting time, because they weren't actually made yet, I sold out in about two days. People still really anxious to get more, so I relisted another batch. So now I have a double batch, so it's about twice what I would usually do in two weeks to try and get done in the next two weeks. So that's another thing that's gonna keep me busy here in the shop for a little while. 
but the income is nice. Of course, there's maintenance around the house now that spring is on the way. I got to do some repair work on the little greenhouse. We had a few truckloads of road base delivered to repair the rutted, muddy road from the nice snow that we had, and that had to be spread, so that took me a half a day there. So I've just been busy doing stuff, and if some of this get stuff gets done and it's no longer on my to-do list, I'm hoping that frees me up to get back into the shop and make more regular videos, particularly some of those longer term projects. I've got the window grill project that I still haven't finished doing test pieces and developing tooling for, and we'll do a few more videos about that part of the process, and then a video on the, the grill itself when I actually get around to making the grill. I've got the book from Greasy Luck Forge on making a padlock, and we're gonna look at making that. I've got permission from him to show some of that as long as I don't give so much detail that you're not tempted to buy the book from him. And then of course, there's the ribbon burner forge that I've been putting off because I just haven't had time and it isn't a high priority, but hopefully we'll get around to that this summer. Now, if you're looking for other video content, I do make shorter content on Black Bear Forge 2, thinking about just calling it the BBF 2, Sort of like British Broadcasting, BBC One, BBC Two. That has shorts on there maybe once or twice a week. Those are a lot faster and easier to film than a full project video over here. I'm starting to do some more ordinary videos over there, but it's still very short. They're three to five minute videos just on a specific technique or a specific concept, things like that. So if you're interested in that, check out Black Bear Forge 2. Of course, as summer comes on, we're gonna start doing other things outside the shop. We're gonna travel a little bit. Maybe go camping, get out and ride the recumbent trikes, fly some drones, things like that. And if you're interested in that kind of stuff, check out my other channel, John Switzer, and you may be able to see some of those adventures. Now those other two channels don't necessarily get regular content. This is still the priority to post videos here. But if I have a half hour here, half hour there that I can do something, then I'll fill in with some stuff over there. And of course, I need to thank our sponsor here at Black Bear Forge, Combat Abrasives. If you use the link in the video description and the coupon code BLACKBEAR10, you'll receive a discount on your next order. I hope you have time in your day to get out to your shop, make something, but stay safe, wear your safety glasses. We'll see you for the next video.